Guys, today I'm going to be showing you a very, very cool card trick that was suggested to me by a spectator. He wanted to know how David Blaine did this card trick, and uh, he sent me this compilation video. So I'm going to show you guys the trick on the screen, what he did, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do it at home. Alright, so right off the bat, I knew what he was doing. Um, this trick isn't going to impress any card magician, but it will impress anybody else you meet. So, what you'll need to do is get yourself an invisible deck. So, what you can do is go to any magic shop, or you go online, or you can support the channel. Go down really quick and easy, click the Amazon link, and you can buy it from there if you want to support the channel. If not, you can do whatever else you want. But you do need an invisible deck. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and expose to you what this looks like and give you a few tips and tricks so this way when you do get the deck, you're not kind of clueless as to what's going on. So basically you pull the deck out of the box and on one side you're going to have all the evens, uh, 26 even faces, and on the other side you're going to have 26 odd cards and they're each paired with each other. So I'll show you what I mean. Basically, when you spread the deck like this, you're only showing 26 faces and these are only the even cards. Um, and while it looks like it's a single card, if you apply some pressure to it, each, sing uh, each single card is actually a double. Okay, so each single card is paired with another card, and they're actually paired with the odd cards on the other side. So each even card on this side, when you spread it, is paired with one of the odd cards on the other side. And the way the math works, this is how you actually know which card is paired with which. Um, all you have to do is subtract their card's value from 13. So whatever card they pick, just subtract that from 13. And then you have to remember that spades are going to be paired with hearts and diamonds are paired with clubs. So once I show you, this is pretty simple. So let's say we go through the deck and in this case, we're going to know that the six of diamonds is paired with the seven of clubs, right? So if you do 13 minus six, that equals seven and you know that diamonds are paired with the clubs. So if you spread this, this is going to be the seven of clubs on the other side. All right, so that's how that works. Um, aces are worth one, and jacks are worth 11, queens are worth 12, and kings are a bit funky, I'll show you what I mean. Since kings are worth 13, and you do 13 minus 13 equals zero, um, you know, that, that kind of cancels out, doesn't really make sense. So every king is paired with another king. You just have to remember, Spades goes with hearts, and on the back here, clubs goes with diamonds. And the way they're stuck together is there's a matte finish, there's a spray on here that makes the backs of the cards rough. So if the backs rub together, they don't rub together very smooth. That's why the faces can go so smooth, but just that little bit of roughness on the back can be held up just because the faces spread so smooth, it's not gonna undo the, uh, the roughness on the back, okay? So they're stuck together pretty well, and you just have to spread a card whenever you want to. Oh, sorry, and when you get to the aces and the queens, um, like I said, aces are worth one, and queens are worth 12. So if you do 13 minus one, um, that's gonna give you 12, which is a queen, and this is gonna be the ace of hearts on the other side, just like that, hearts and spades. So I'll show you guys how to actually select a spectator's card from the deck once they've chosen it, and how not to mess up as much. So now that you know you know, how they're paired up, so to say. Um, jacks are, like I said, 11. Those are going to be paired with a 2. In this case, the jack of spades will be on the back side of the 2. Um, now, let's say you do this. All right, so you have your even and odds here. What I do is, let's say you can put your, evens fi your even side. Remember how you place it. I always put the evens facing the spade. So I always make the evens facing the top. So that way, um, I know that if I pull out the cards from this direction, all the evens will be showing, and if I pull out the cards from this direction, only the odds are going to be showing. Okay, so just have the deck however it makes sense to you, and then I'll show you guys how to actually get a spectator's selection from the deck. So now that you, let's say, I'm not going to just pick any card um, off the top of my head because that will kind of be cheating. So let's say we go through the deck, and let's say hypothetically I asked a spectator to pick a random card, and let's say the spectator picked the six of hearts. Okay, so let's say I asked the spectator, I said, all right, think of any card and just imagine that card being turned over as the only face down card in the deck. Meanwhile, they're holding the entire deck, right? Now, here's what you have to remember. Each, uh, each even's paired with an odd. So let's say they said this six of hearts, I think it was. 
What you want to do is you don't want to pull the deck up from the even side because then the six of hearts isn't going to be face down. So you take the deck like this and you say, okay, all right, I know the odds are showing from this side. I'm going to go ahead and open the deck like this. Now the odds are going to be showing. So do 13 minus six, that's going to be seven. So now we know we're looking for a seven and it was a six of hearts. So that, that means we gotta look for the seven of spades. So you go through the deck, okay, you found the seven of spades, you spread it, you show the deck, and then you have the spectator pull the card out of the deck. And I promise you, they're not gonna notice the roughness on the back. So you go and have them pull the card out, they flip it over, and they see it was the exact card that they were thinking of. So, and then you just put the deck, and you don't wanna do this trick more than once, I'm gonna be honest, because once the spectator notices that you just stuck the card back into the box, um, or into the deck, and then you just put it back in the box, and then you, if you were to be able to pull out and do it again, they're going to notice that you know something's iffy with the deck. So I wouldn't do this more than once, but that's kind of how it works. I'll do, I'll do another demonstration. Let's say the spectator goes through and they picked, let's say they were thinking of the seven of hearts. Okay, so in this case, good. We have an, we have an odd card. So you're thinking, okay, 13 minus 7 equals 6. Okay, and hearts gets paired up with spades. So seven of hearts means these six of spades. So you go through and you go ahead and look for the six of spades, just like that. You can show the card. I believe, yeah, this is the same exact card you picked earlier. But anyways, seven of hearts goes like that, and that is basically the trick. One tip I have for doing this effect, um, you can set the deck up either way. It's very important, actually, and I did forget to mention this, but since the kings are, you know, only worth kings, you want to make sure that you have the same color king worth the same value. So in this case, I made the black kings even. Okay, so both black kings. You don't want to have the deck looking like this with one red king and one black king because then it kind of screws things up. So make sure the kings are on both sides. And what I normally do is I'll take the queen of diamonds and leave that on one end, and then I'll have the king of diamonds on the other end. So let's say you were pulling out the deck and the spectator set a number like the four of clubs, right? They said the four of clubs, you pull it out and you accidentally pull it out on the even side. So when you spread the cards, the four of clubs is gonna be displayed, it's not gonna be on the back side. But let's say you pull it out and you catch yourself right here, right? So once you spread the deck, you're pretty much screwed. But if you catch yourself here, you can misdirect the spectators, maybe flip your hand over and they might not notice that you just flipped the deck and then you're able to go to the uh, nine of diamonds and actually spread out to their four of clubs, just like that. So that is the trick. It's an invisible deck, guys. It is super, super simple, and it's always helpful to have with you anywhere you go. You'll impress anybody you meet. And like I said, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to click the link down below. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. She's a literal vampire, a belly god.